Worthen FC TV with Adam Hinchwood following a 3-0 win over Farnborough. Adam, how are you feeling following that win? Well, it, it was um, an excellent performance, I thought. Um, to keep a clean sheet, um, I thought it was massive and I thought Rocco was you know, coming out of that with a lot of praise. He, you know, coming for stuff. Um, he was big, took crosses, coming and punching stuff that you know, I've been asking of him and you know, he, he, was, he was comfortable on the ball. Um, and I think a lot of our attacks come through his good play as well. So, um, yeah, he's, he's made some mistakes in recent weeks, but you know, what, what's a response from a 22 year old? Um, to respond like that um, and put in a performance like that, I thought was, was massive. And um, yeah, the second half we got into our, our rhythm similar to what we did at Haven at home and you know, really showed what we can do if, if we, we play with confidence. Came flying out the traps in that second half. First half, I didn't really feel like either side really had too much of the game, but that second half for us, that first few minutes, before you know it, Juan Luque scored, Molly Pierce coming in with a second. Couldn't have been a better start to the, start to the half. No, yeah, obviously, you know, to score two as, as quick as that uh, settles everybody down. And um, like I say, um, with some really good performances. I uh, thought, you know, one of Luke's performance second half was, was excellent, showed what he can do in a 1v1 today. Um, Ollie Pierce is, is worked right up top. And, um, you know, we've got, uh, you know, Joel playing out of position and, you know, is a real leader and, and Kane as well. Um, so, yeah, there's a really, really, really good performance second half and um, you know now it's important that you know we, we build on that and we try and get a bit of momentum um, you know we tried to do that after the Havant game um, but you know Dartford aside uh, first half against Dartford aside um, you know I think in recent weeks there's been some good good, good displays good performances um, we let ourselves down on the weekend and you know, we come here today and respond like that. So, you know, we've got to now try and try and find some momentum in our performances and I think the results will come. Yeah, we mentioned there about Rocco bouncing back to and it was a great performance for him. A clean sheet as well away from home, which is massive for all the boys actually in that defensive area. But just for the squad as a whole to bounce back today, get three points on the board away after some of the results of late, they've got to be buzzing following that. No, they are, yeah, definitely, and um, you know, I'm really, really pleased for them. Again, they sort of, we, we come in, had an extra session last night, and, um, you know, unreal turnout, so pleased that they're getting the rewards for the, the effort they put in. Um, you know, they get paid extra to give up their Monday nights to, to come in, and um, just pleased that got the rewards of, of them coming and do that. Um, so, yeah, no, they're... A really, really good, good bunch of lads. They work, work their socks off, and um, you know they, they can be frustrating when you watch them at times on the pitch with some of the stuff they do. But um, when they play like they did second half, you know it's a real, real pleasure to watch. One stand-up performance amongst all that was Ricky Aguilar. Uh, fantastic performance for him today in those final areas. What do you make of him tonight and in that forward line as well? Because they all looked very, very threatening tonight. No, they did, yeah. Um, and, and the two boys again, Bailey and Luke, uh, have come on and had a real impact. Um, you know, Nicky's gone off of his ankle. Uh, I think it's the recurrence of the ankle injury he's picked up. So, um, you know, that's a one sort of disappointment from the evening. But, you know, other than that, um, you know, the lads have all up the forward areas have done really well. And I think, like, Ricky's defensive side at times tonight, he's, he's going to get better at. Um, but again, he's a young lad, he's learning. Um, and you know, you can take maybe um, his his bits of um, play, sloppy bits of play defensively for what he did gives you going forward. Some of his passes and that was was superb. Yeah, excellent. And well, Joel Carbrand, of course, you mentioned as well. He was everywhere, so I suppose that kind of made up for Ricky in a way. No, that's right. Yeah, and a day sort of like um, you know, a bit of an unsung hero puts out a lot of fires for us and does all the, the, the dirty side of the game. But yeah, there's a few bits sort of um, first half in particular that I wasn't particularly happy with in terms of our defensive structure. I thought some of the gaps in between our units were, were quite big. Um, so it's definitely work for us to, to improve on there. Um, and yeah, like I say, we'll, we'll try and put that right on Thursday and ready to go again on Saturday. Yeah, and Saturday's another trip away, big one for us as well, Taunton, yeah. long journey, not an easy place to go as well as we learnt last season. Yeah. With what you've seen tonight though, do you think that's the positive steps to go into a game like that, is the right approach for a game like that? Yeah, definitely, I think like, um, 
you know, we want to go with uh, a lot of positivity. Um, you know, it still hurts our performance there last year. I think we let ourselves down there. Um, again. So, you know, it's a tricky place to go. Uh, you've got to be um, definitely up, up for the for the challenge. Um, but like I say, if we can take a bit of confidence from that second half performance into into the game on Saturday, then you know we'll uh, we'll be okay.